morning. Well, you know what they say about uh, early birds and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, he catches the worm. <laughs> too true, but that's not why I called. What can I help you with? Listen, I'm trying to uh, get hold of Frisco. Oh, but did you try his apartment? Yeah, but I didn't get an answer. I thought you might be able to give me a clue. I'm sorry, Robert, but I just got up and I haven't seen either one of them. Oh, hold on. Looks like I spoke too soon. The shop so, uh, has just arrived. Where's everybody in the brownstone? We should all be together and discuss reopening Duke's right, club. Time to wait. We're going to have breakfast on us today, obviously. Well, I think that's a great idea, but can I wait two minutes? Can you talk to Robert? That's Robert? Yeah, he's been trying to get some money. Yeah. Robert, Frisco. Uh, listen, mate, um, I got another favor to ask you. Fine. You just name it. I'll start the coffee. Thanks, honey. Well, how's it going with reopening the club? Well, later today, I just may have a surprise for you. What did Robert say? Uh, he needs our help. Something to do with Anna. Well, get breakfast started, shall we? We'll discuss opening Duke's Club. <laughs> oh, by the way, I like my approach. Bobby likes her center set up. Well, congratulations. I scrambled them all. Like I said, Bobby and I both like our scramble. Sorry. So, um, how's marriage going, huh? Pretty good so far. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It may not last long. Oh, yeah, I forget. Compared to me, you're an old hand at this marriage stuff, aren't you? I sort of feel like a war veteran, although I've never been in a war. Come on, I don't see any scars, Frisco. And none that I'll show you, buddy. Not what you thought it was going to be, huh? Well, I don't think marriage is ever predictable. That's not the truth. You know, I really think it wasn't going to be too different, but it is different. Oh, yeah. Very different. And it started, what? It's not like moving your clothes into someone's no, closet. No, is it? And you know, it really did start the moment we said I do. Good or bad. I'm not complaining. We're only married a week, mind you. Well, give it a little time. <laughs> you gotta get used to each other. It's different. Yeah, and I know that intellectually, of course, but... I don't know. I still had this idea that it wouldn't be too different. I mean, Bobby and I live under the same roof for quite a long time. Oh, no. Mm, that's, see, that's not the same, living together. No, it certainly isn't. But that's what I don't understand, is why it has to be different. I mean, we're the same people dealing with each other, aren't we? Why does it change just because we're suddenly married? Why couldn't it still be as simple as it was when we were dating? No, that part is over. The simple part. Well, it's like this, Jake. When the relationship's going well, right? And you're having a good time. Women have a tendency to want to get married. So you either have to decide, I'm going to get married. Or if you don't decide that, then you can forget the relationship. I see. Mm-hmm. What about you? You were actually living with Felicia before you got married. Is it any different for you? Well, see, that's different, too. Because when you get married now, then you start living together. Beforehand, it's rehearsal. I mean, you're not even really living with each other until you're married. Exactly. I got it. I think. I think so. Okay. I'm sure glad we talked, actually, Frisco. I thought I was going to go a little nuts. I mean, I really know Bobby very well. But I'm learning new things about her every day. And you'll learn... New things about her every day. New things every day. Right. Boy, you really think you know them, and then suddenly you find out they don't like Clint Eastwood movies. I hate that part. So do I. Let's toast. You'd think I'd know better. I mean, I have been married before, but it was never like this with Terry's father. Well, D.L. Brock and Jake Meyer are about as different as two men can get. <laughs> I mean, Jake's so open. I can talk to him about anything. Really? I'm really having fun getting to know him. Did you know he likes Clint Eastwood movies? Clint Eastwood movies? I can understand that. <laughs> yeah, hey, Jake, whoops, they stopped talking the moment we walked in. Yes, Should I noticed. my it. ears be burning? No, no it sounds like Toast did. Would you please just sit down before it gets cold? Yes, please. Cold and burnt are not my favorite combination. <laughs> That's what we get from now. We need to cook the breakfast. Well, how about an update on reopening the club, huh? Well, <laughs> here's you first. Yeah, well, I hope this is a surprise I'm waiting for. 
Ah, good morning. morning. Come in, please. Good morning. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Yeah, I was just leaving the station when I got your message. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank you. All Thank right. Yeah, oh, good morning, everybody. Would you like some breakfast? No, I've already eaten. Thanks. Sure. Have some coffee. How about some uh, coffee? Coffee? Yeah, I got Great. time for coffee. Yeah, sure. Sit down. Sure. What are you rushing off to so early in the morning, huh? Well, I gotta get to that police board review hearing. You know, Farina? Yeah. I think it is absolutely ridiculous that Anna's motives could ever be questioned. Well, I'm sure Captain Lewis can do a lot of things to get Anna out of trouble. I doesn't look for her. I can't discuss the case here. Is this the reason you asked me over here? No. Actually, Captain, it's not. Um, I have a favor to ask of you. Well, come on, tell me. I gotta get out of here. Have the police finished their investigation of Duke Lavery's club over there? Yeah, a couple of days ago. We need to, uh, to get in there. That's not possible. It's locked up tighter than a drum. Ah, here comes the favor part. Mm -hmm. We need you to get us in there. Don't tell me. You left your guitar there. It's our club. We rented it. We are preparing for the opening benefit of Duke's new club. Our new club. Whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Did I miss something here? <laughs> Yeah, Duke Lavery is in the hospital, facing surgery and probably a prison sentence, well, right? Yes, that's exactly why we're throwing him a benefit on opening night. <laughs> that brings up a very interesting point. Why are you throwing a benefit for a known criminal? Duke Lavery is not your run-of-the-mill criminal. After all, he saved Robert Scorpio's life, and he helped Nailbert Ramsey. And all the other crooks. And you think that's enough to get me to open the doors, right? Well, we happen to have at least two. Oh. Well, now that makes more sense than anything else you told me so far. <laughs> well, I learned it from you at the Academy. Mm. Come on, don't bring me into this, huh? No, you always said a good cop goes by the books, but he always keeps his humanity, right? Yeah, yeah, but I think I was talking about helping little old ladies across the street, not putting criminals back on them. Will you help us? Please? Do I have a choice? No. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. You are terrific. <laughs> well, nothing should be stopping us now. Captain Lewis said that the club would be open later this morning. Fabulous. Now we can start planning the opening. I can't believe we're running Duke's club. It's not just yesterday I was auditioning for the man. It was just yesterday. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, if we're going to put this thing together, we haven't got very much time to waste. The man's right. Let's get started. I'm going to go get some more cleaning supplies. I'll meet you over the club in a little while. I'll go okay? with you. Bring some cash, will you? Is that all I'm good for? No, yes. we will need you to help scrub the floors. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. It might ruin my surgeon hands. Oh. Well, then you can sleep. Come on, Charlie. Maybe my elbow? Let's go down to the basement and look for some stuff first. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to stop by without calling. I hope it's not a bad time. It uh, looks kind of busy around here. Don't let it kid you, Tom. It's like this around here every day. Yeah. Well, what's all the excitement? <laughs> Captain Lewis agreed to open up Duke's club so we have to get started on the cleanup. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. Oh, just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Oh, what a marvelous idea. Why don't you just go upstairs, change your clothes, and meet us at the club later? <laughs> you can't possibly think that I would have clean up well, the club. sure, Tiffany. I mean, we're all chipping in here. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but you don't understand. I mean, I couldn't possibly do something like that. I mean, if my public ever got wind of that, I mean, you just... Oh, darling, that. your secret oh, is safe with us. Be there or be square. Hmm? Tiffany told me what you're doing for Duke, and I think that that is real nice. It'll work out well for all of us. Yeah, what can we do for you, Tom? Well, nothing for me, really. It's, uh, I'm here about Duke, too. Uh, the shop steward. Not the union are planning to bring him up on charges of misusing the union funds. That's not fair. Oh, great. That's all Duke needs right now is some more legal troubles. Yeah, I, you know, I know that you've got kind of a reputation of being well, the champion of the underdog. So I was thinking if you could talk to the guys, maybe we can do something to stop them before they file the formal charges. I thought that was up to the district attorney. Yeah, it is. But the way that the union members feel is bound to sway the district attorney in some way. Yeah, but I think Tom is right. I think you should go over there. Mm -hmm. Try and stop this thing before it starts. Why don't you go too, Sean? Because the guys trust you. Yeah, good that's idea. a good idea. You two go to the meeting and I'll see you at Duke's later. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. okay. This place is a little worse than I remembered. Well, now come on, we can do this. We just all have to pitch in. When were you planning on reopening this place? Next summer? 
Mike Munch's me room wasn't built in a day. That's right. You're right, Felicia. Okay, why don't we just all pitch in and see how much we can get done by lunchtime? Oh, good. That's the spirit. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, where would we start first? Well, why don't we just divide up all the duties? Well, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, uh, Frisco and Patrick, why don't you pick up all this trash and put it in bags and get trash. rid of that? Trash. Okay? And I think Felicia, you and Terry, you could uh, start wiping okay, out the tables and everything and wipe it. out the chairs. There's dust on those chairs and everything, okay? All right, I, I got some towels then. I Great. Get Great. Bobby. I am exhausted. Oh, join the club. It doesn't make me feel better, Felicia, you know? <laughs> Tiffany, what happened to you? You don't look yourself. I know I don't. <laughs> Manual labor is not exactly my cup of tea. I, well, at least all this exercise is for a very good cause. Yeah, well, I'd rather do my exercise at the spa, thank you. I can't stand the thoughts of going down and having anybody see me look like this on the street. Don't worry about it. By the time we get out of here, it's going to be dark anyway. Well, by the time we get out of here, you're going to have to carry me out in one of those bags with all the other dirty rags. Well, at least this place is starting to come together. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be ready for a bee opening after all. Have you started to think about the songs you're going to do for the benefit? Oh, not yet. You got any requests? <laughs> you bet I do. I want you to sing every song with me in mind. And the slower, the sexier, the better. Now, don't forget there's going to be more people in here than just the two of you. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Terry's going to be singing every one of those songs for me. Ah. Uh. What about the rest of us? Do we have any say? No, it's my money. Will you let the man have his dreams, please? Well, all I hope is that we just get a lot of money raised so, so we can have this bill paid for once and for all. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. For every song that Terry sings for me, I'll donate $100 to Duke's cause. Ooh. Wow. Well, for that kind of money, I'll sing whatever you want. <laughs> you may think I'm crazy, but I'm really having a good time. <laughs> I think that we should all thank Fisco for getting Captain Lewis to unlock this place for us. Well, it was one thing to get Lewis to do it. It's going to be another thing getting the police to allow us to run this club. Mm. Well, whose approval do we need? <sighs> we need a police chief's approval. And from what I understand, we don't have one right now, do we? Unless Anna passes that review board, all of this work's going to be for nothing. Are you kidding me? I did all this stuff in my ruined my hands and I've got blisters on my sorry, fingers. You didn't Tiffany, even tell me this. I'm sorry, but yes, that is true. I, the police board yeah. may not allow us to hold the benefit for Duke. Oh, what about us? This is our only income. Well, I think we better all keep our fingers crossed or the Brownstone Venture is going to be over before it starts. Anna's going to have her hands full. That police board's a tough group. I'm so sorry for Anna. Mm -hmm. Me too. I know what it's like to see your career. Fall through your fingertips. So you guys made as much progress as we did. We did make some progress. Well, we did more than just make some progress. When we walked in there, they were ready to string Duke up to the highest lamppost. <laughs> what about after you left? Well, at least we got them willing to take a poll of all the other members to see if they want to keep him on as president. Mm -hmm. well, Tom was smart to take you guys to the, to the meeting. Well, actually, I didn't do much. I think all the credit goes to Council oh, Meyer to Mr. here. Modest. No, 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 he did a terrific job. No, you did, so you did. Well, in that case, I did it all. <laughs> Just that man. Ooh, yes, I like that. Mm. Tiffany, why don't you come and say hello to John and Jake? They're both here. Oh, there's no time for small talk when there's all this work to be done. What is this, Tiffany Hill? There must be some mistake. I have never seen this woman before in my life. And as God is my witness, you're never going to see her again. Sean, you weren't supposed to see me looking like this. Oh, honey, you look beautiful. Scrumptious. Sexy. I love what honest toil does for a woman. You're absolutely glowing. It's hives. I'm allergic to the cleaning fluid. And I've been on my knees scrubbing all day long. So just don't uh, we better get going, all right? What's that? Well, I just mentioned to Robert uh, that we'd do a favor for him. Yeah? For Duke and Anna. What kind of favor is that? Well, Robert asked me not to discuss it because it's a surprise.